Took the bait. All units proceed to Adam's studio. Uh, no sirens. He's got a hostage. It's one of us. Don't give this bird any warning. Are you fright? Hmm. You should be. If you think your friends can save you. You're wrong. I know what's in your purse. We'll be finished long before they arrive. Now take a good look at this camera. Like it was your lover. Love. And fear. This time I'll make the message. This is for you, Lisa. Poor of those fools. I should have been here by now. Didn't you tell them we were going in the back door? At least ten times. Damn it, I told them no sirens. I'm going in. <clears throat> He doesn't have a mark on him.
lucky to find any pawn shops that are open today. Is this your first time to buy these? Yeah. I'll light a candle for you. Hey, baby. What's the rush? Well, what opportunity pass you by? Come on, sweetheart. Let's do lunch. Of course, you'll have to buy. Oh, sure, right now. What's the matter? Don't you like the name? Dad just last week. It's a tough neighborhood, Toots. So what brings you around? You're uh, not looking for a camera now, are you? No, no. I I'm looking for a teddy bear to do using a series of photographs I'm doing. Well, I got something real special for you. Come on. Come on. I I'm also looking for an old chalice. I, I want to record the past and the present. Well, I'll be damned. You really are a photographer, aren't you? An artsy, fartsy photographer. This is a miracle. I got a camera in here. A real fancy one. Uh, but I told you, I wasn't looking for a camera. Oh, oh, but this is a unique camera, and I can practically let you steal it. Well, what do you think? I think I'd have to see it first. Hey, this here is a masterpiece. Bad I don't get too many people coming in here looking for cameras. I was going to take it to a camera store this week, and I'm sure they'll give me the bucks. You better hop on it or it's history. Yeah, well, I still have to see I'll it. I'll show it to you. Well, make me an offer I can't refuse. Well, I'd have to try it out. I'll tell you what, I'll let you have it for 50 bucks. I'm begging you to steal it. It's a Verdant. What? V Deluxe, a Verdant. They were handmade about 10 or 15 years ago. And you want to sell it for 50 bucks? Hey, I got no use for it. It's been sitting around here for months collecting dust. Eh, I can't. I'm really not looking for a camera. Take me home, Amy. Take me home. Well, it is a rarity. Okay. Never be sorry, babe. So where'd you get it? From a cop. Yes? Yeah? Where'd you get it? Uh, I got a scrub to the pavement for a bottle of booze. Well, I'm gonna load it up right now and take some pictures on the way home. It's got film in it. Huh. It's always got film in it. Well, thanks.
effort from last night to try it again. Best two out of three falls. Again? This thing's moving pretty fast for a little guy like you. You're not going to give me that old, not ready for a commitment yet speech, are you? No, just the opposite. I haven't had a serious relationship in a long time. And that didn't have a happy ending. It's not easy opening myself up to that again. I'll just have to work at it at my own pace. Well, I can be an excruciatingly patient person. And I'm like Captain Andrews. Besides, I can't do anything tonight. I have my meeting. An oh, anniversary. That's right. How long's it been? As of tomorrow, not a drop. Six months. Well, congratulations. But hey, it's no surprise to me. All of us around here, all along, we knew you had it in you. You were the only one that had any doubts. Now, the best part about this is I'm starting to get some real assignments again. The captain's promised me the next hot case that comes down. Testing me, I guess. See if I'm back for real. That is cause to celebrate. Tonight, after your meeting, my place. Just you and me. A bottle of vintage Pepsi. And my grandmother's recipe for chicken Kiev. Chicken Kiev? That's not fair. Okay, all right, I'll be there. I get going. You still got two hours left on your shift. Uh, an officer, take off them stupid sunglasses. It's dark out there. They help make me look more intimidating, sir. No, makes you look like you're going to a masquerade ball as a police officer. I get out of here. Amy, the Wonder Woman, needs a ride. It's Bride Day of... I told you, I wasn't worried about me. It was the cameras I was worried about. Oh, you and your cameras. Besides, I missed my last work out. <laughs> <laughs> you two were late. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Helen, but we got stuck behind a large truck carrying these pods, and it overturned under... <laughs> Riders. Uh, that's a nice outfit, Helen. Don't try to butter me up. You're shooting Lynn today, and I don't want you to be late. Do you like this? Look, when are you going to let me give you something artistic? I'm tired of shooting Lynn in her underwear. It's a swimsuit. Now get a move on. I don't want you keeping her waiting one second. Sure. Wouldn't want to deprive her one opportunity to dump on me. You are the worst thinking photographer in the whole world. I agree. I agree. You're so perceptive and original. Just shut up and work faster.
I'm sure you do. What did you do that for? Oh, I got a new camera. I just wanted to try it out. Uh, you're better to try it on than a model. I'm paid more money per day than you've ever seen. I don't pose for free. If I see that picture anywhere, I'll have your butt in court faster than you can snap a picture. gonna be the death of me it sounds like you need this more than i do oh i just hate her she just gets under my skin don't get worked out yeah she's as two-dimensional as those ads that she appears in it's just not worth it amy <laughs> you're right You know, Jen, we haven't rented one of those crummy romance movies lately. We could rent one, kick back, make some microwave popcorn. Well, I sort of already have a date to see a crummy movie tonight. With Rick? Yeah. But you're not even dressed. And we have that prom queen story early tomorrow. I know, I know. But I promised him, though. I was just about to get ready when you came in. And I did take a nap, so I will be ready for tomorrow. I can't believe Gaines wants us to do a story about prom queens. I mean, who cares about prom queens? Uh, I was a prom queen. <laughs> You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me before? Oh, well, why should I? Who cares about prom queens? <laughs> oh, God, here I am with my foot in my mouth oh, again. Forget it. statement? Oh, it saves time. I come back from the movies and throw off my clothes and I'm ready for bed. <laughs> you know, Amy, maybe about two hours ago come was waking me tonight. No, I've got some processing to do. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, hi. How are you doing, Amy? Oh. Don't you ever knock? <laughs> You want to keep that door locked, so I do have to knock. You never know what kind of psycho might just walk right in here. <laughs> I think one just did walk in here. Uh, Amy, are you sure you don't want to come with us? I think Rick could call one of his friends. <laughs> no thanks. Whew. Yeah. Oh, she knows I'm kidding. Amy's always welcome. <laughs> so, uh, when will you be home? Checking up on us now, Mommy? Rick, would you stop picking on her? She can take it. Well, we'll see you later, Amy. Yeah. Let's see what you're made of. Baby. I've got 
got to start buying a better cut of coke. Say, where are you going, sweetie? I'm going for my run. When I get back, don't be here. <laughs> Listen, I usually stay for breakfast. Denny serves breakfast 24 hours. Enjoy. Hmm. Still need some more pictures, Melinda. I know, let's take a break. Take five, like we say in the business. That usually helps the big time models relax. How's it going, Amy? <sighs> Could be better. Oh, hey, I gotta show you something. Serious fantasy. Was this trick photography? No, no, my Verdun. I think it was either the chemicals or the roll of the film. The picture of that street film looked the same. I'm going to load another roll up and use it again today. Oh, 
remember loading this. Huh. I swear I'm losing it, Jen. <laughs> you just overworked. She's pretty. Has she been very cooperative? I can't get her to smile or say four words or anything. Melinda, this is Jennifer. She's going to be writing the story. Melinda's one of the greatest kids I ever met. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mel. You know, I was prom queen myself. Oh, really? What did you wear? Uh, well, this may seem strange to you, but I wore a purple crushed velvet dress and yellow heels. No way. <laughs> and my date, he looked like... Uh, Elvis... I understand she was a prom queen, too. Well, then, what's up? I'm afraid I have some bad news. Lynn was murdered last night. This is, um, Officer Alice Bowden. She has some questions for you, too. I've, uh, I've got to get back to the office, but I look forward to reading your story. I was a prom queen, too. She must have gone to a very small school. You don't seem too upset about Lynn's death. She was a good model. But I'll be honest with you, I'm not in love with this business. I see photography as an art form. Shooting some... Someone selling bikinis is not a thrill for me. I see. Well, you don't mind if I ask a few questions, do you? Do you have any idea who killed her? Not yet. I was wondering if either of you know Mike Gorman. Isn't he... Isn't he Lynn's latest pet? We think he may have been the last person to see her alive. Well, I've never met him. He was at the shoot with Lynn yesterday. They left together, but that's the only time I ever saw him. I suppose you have an enormous list of suspects. Not really. But to be honest with you, I don't have any other leads other than this Gorman character. Being a lady cop, well, there's sort of a lot of pressure on me. If you have any idea of, at all of anyone who might have wanted to harm Lynn, just give me a call. Sure, I can make a list for you. Uh, we'll talk it over and give you a call, okay? Thanks. I look forward to reading your story. And believe it or not, I was a prom queen too. God, I must be the only person in this planet who wasn't a prom queen. <laughs> so Jen, what do you think I should say to Chris? Well, Excuse you know, me, could you guys stand over there so I can snap off some shots? Okay. I look at him straight in the eye. Something I can do for you, pal? You had a camera for sale here a few days ago. I don't sell cameras. This one was imprinted with the name V Deluxe. A former police officer and Nate Burdett brought it to you. Did he tell you that? I want that camera. He's a drunk. I don't sell cameras. seem to recall something. Now look, I don't want anybody to know about it. You understand? I assure you, I'll tell nobody. Burdette, 
He brought the camera in, but I sold it to some chick. I didn't think it was any big deal. I think you know. Know what? I don't know nothing. Where's the girl? How would I know? Think I take fingerprints or something? This is just a pawn shop. Now you want to buy something or not? If you sold her the camera, she'll be back. I'll wait. That was a good session. Hi, Clem. Hi, Dan. I'm back. You sure I can't give you a lift? I'm sure. We'll give you a call when you are Um, Amy. Hi. Bye. So long. Another day. She was dead. She's such a rag. I know how she got to be prom queen. <gasps> My <laughs> Let's go. There's nothing else left for us to do.
you're upset. A girl's been murdered. No, that's not it. Tell me. That girl back there in the model yesterday, it's just like 10 years ago. Are those killings? The photographer, Cosgrave. Yeah. He had a kind of signature to his murders. Like they were works of art. These murders, they look just like they did. And that girl, she looked just like Lisa looked. That was a long time ago. I thought you were over her. You did talk to that girl, Melinda, this afternoon. No, but I did interview that photographer. She didn't like the girl. And she didn't like that model that was waxed yesterday either. That bird's got a bigger repertoire than what I heard today. I want to go shake her tree and see what falls out. No. Always let the suspect make the first move. She's got your card, right? This will make the evening news, so just go home and wait for her call. Gee, thanks, coach. With your help, I'll make detective in no time. Of course, you could always go home and wait with me. No, not tonight. I've got some very important business with my old friend Jim. Jim? Jim Beam. Johnny Walker might drop in, too. I don't think I'd make very good company. Be careful. It took me 10 years to get over Lisa. I couldn't do it again. This tragic story just came in. The strangled body of a teenage girl has been discovered in the woods near Arroyo High School. There's no answer. What's happening to this, Jim? We don't know for sure it was Melinda yet. Do you still have Officer Bowden's number? shooting models and cheerleaders. But maybe, maybe if you had a camera with ESP. What the hell are you trying to say? Maybe that your career would take a hell of a leap with sensational altered photographs. Get out! Is the truth that painful? Now you tell me about those pictures. Let her go. Look, I'm sorry. I just have to know. Well, that was a shitty thing to do. Oh, no, no. I would have done the same thing. She wants to know as much as we do. How can you explain those photos? I can't. Take my picture. No way. Do you have a better idea? I can't do it. I have a black belt and a gun and lots of friends with guns. Now take my picture. Come on, we've got to know. 
Hello, Jen. Amy, who's this lovely lady? Ah, uh, so sorry, Amy. I forgot to tell you I got a break over. Yeah, thought you guys might need some extra protection. Yeah, great. I feel much better now. This is Alice Fadinger. She's a police officer. Angie Dickinson, right? A policewoman. It's a dumb TV show. This is Rick Clark. Yeah, part-time protector of defenseless women. Part-time computer programmer. Hey, you do programming. I'm doing a couple crime programs, and I find I can process data at a much faster rate of speed. Really? What language? I'm oh, just basic. <laughs> I'd love to take a look at it. Maybe we could do something in Fortran with it. Oh, maybe. Fortran? What about Melinda? <laughs> look, Amy, excuse me for being blunt, but I really would like to erase any suspicions about this camera. I can't take your picture. <sighs> <laughs> I'll be waiting for the little man in the camera. Alone. Just like everybody else. Don't you want to stay and watch your picture develop? <laughs> I've seen my picture before. I'll be at my apartment. You've got my phone number. Talk to you later. That's one tough lady. Let's just hope she's all right. This is Amy. Look, I, I've developed the film, and you found something weird. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint your little theory, Amy, but I am quite alive.
Please, call an ambulance, but I've got to find out about this. Hey, where are you, where are you going? Just call. Maybe you can still help her. I'm taking your car. suicide. Call me superstitious. I just wanted to get rid of the damn thing. Is that some kind of crime? Look, I, I'm not accusing you. I just know that this camera's driving me crazy. Where's Burdette now? Works at the Schaefer Warehouse down on 6th Street. He should be there now. Bring up some booze and he'll sing all night. camera from you. You're half dead. Metropolitan police officer was discovered early this morning in her west side apartment. Officer Alice Bowden, 26, was the victim of an intruder who she apparently confronted about 1.30 this morning. More on this tragic story as it comes in. to know. My name is Amy Stewart. I'd like to ask a few questions. And what do I win if I get the right answers? The booby prize, I hope? I want to ask you about this camera. This place is closed to the public. Get the hell out of here. 
That ain't enough, honey. They don't make enough. Now beat it. I've got a case in my trunk. I know a place is private. But keep that thing away from me. Kirk Cosgrave made it. You know, it's strange, but his studio used to be right here where we're standing. Yeah, I've heard of him. He designed the Burdak cameras. Yeah, well, that's a special. He used it to take pictures of the women he tortured. And he cut them up like you couldn't believe. He was one hell of a crazy bastard. I finally caught up with him. We used to plan. He cut her up, too. Is that why you quit the force? I should have quit then, but no, I had too much to prove. I heard you own the camera for a while. Didn't you notice anything unusual about it? I told you to keep that thing away from me. Look, for the drink, I'll tell you this much, but you ain't gonna believe it. <laughs> Try me. It was 10 years ago. Cosgrave had gotten to us all more than any psycho ever did. He seemed to brag about what he did. I don't understand everything. I was gonna waste the bastard. But when he broke in the door, he was sitting in a chair, dead. When the mark on his body, it looked as though something just sucked the life right out of him. My guess is that he had an accomplice. Did you develop the film from the camera? Hell of a thing. <clears throat> we had shots of the police woman before and after Cosgrave had killed her. But here's the thing. We had a shot of the chair, empty. The one we found Cosgrave sitting in. My partner said when he broke in, he heard the camera click. The camera was set up to take a picture of Cosgrave in the chair. But Cosgrave wasn't in the picture. Now, let's go to the car and get that case. See, I think Cosgrave did something. I don't know what, but it has something to do with these murders. What do you think? I think I've earned my case of right there. What are you hiding? You've got to help me. You want my help? Get rid of that camera. Now, there's my help. Well, what do you know? You've got to tell me what you know. I'll tell you, he's buried at the Red Gate Cemetery, if that means anything. Do you think it would help if I went there? I told you to get rid of that camera. Now, that's all I can say. Now, pay me what's up. Get out! Look, I, I want to help you. Tell me what I can do. Get out! Look, do you want me to leave the camera with you? Maybe you can just get out. out. Take that damn thing with you.
realize the discarded tent of Kurt Cosgrave. Its occupant moves on. I don't believe <gasps> he's referring to that traditional Christian concept of heaven, do you? You followed me. You know a little bit more about your camera. Now, are you ready to sell it to me? What do you know about the camera? I know that I want it and that you don't. I'll double what you paid for it. Why do you want the camera? I'll give you ten times what you paid for it. Believe me. Once I have that camera, your troubles will be over. How do I know you won't make things worse? Believe me, when enough of your friends are dead, you'll call me. Incredible. And you say Amy's absolutely convinced of this? Yes. I guess that explains the way she's been acting lately. I'm not so sure I don't believe it myself. Jeff. Well, you've seen those photos. Explain that. Jennifer, I know you're Amy's friend, but you can't get too close to this. You have to stay objective. This story works on a lot of different levels. Killer camera, psychic camera, photographer unhinged by violence around and her. Amy's not crazy. Look, don't misquote me. I said unhinged. Don't you come unhinged, too. You've got to be strong for her. I'm trying, but it's not easy. Um, Abe, hi. Um, we're just having a little war council to determine the direction of the article. Did you show her the pictures? I can't lie to you. This looks like a lot of nonsense to me. But there could be a story in it. This is not just some story. Sure it is. It just needs some more facts so it can take on some shape and definition. <laughs> You mean take more pictures, more corpses? The film. What are you doing? What are you doing, Amy? Give me the number for the Schaefer warehouse. Maybe if I can expose the image, I can... Yeah, let me speak to Nate Burdett. Psychopathic killer. Took pictures of women as he murdered them. Committed suicide. Took a picture of that, too. You know, I think I remember the Cosgrave story. Didn't he... Wait, wasn't he into satanic rituals? All kinds of weird stuff. Now, I was thinking, I know a priest. He's supposed to be an expert at this type of thing. Maybe he can help us. I thought you said this guy was a priest. Well, not exactly. Some would say I've become less than a priest. Others would say more. Father Dana, this is Amy Stewart. And I'm Jennifer, Jennifer Cox. Jennifer Cox. I rarely forget a name or a face. Have you ever heard of a man named Kirk Cosgrave? You're anxious to get down to business, I see. Can I get you ladies something to drink? Tea? Soda? Well, I wouldn't mind a cup of tea. Please, just tell us what you know about Cosgrave and the camera. I'm glad you called me. I can well believe everything Jennifer told me over the phone. I've spent a lifetime studying religious cults and their offshoots. Most are phony. But if you're involved with Cosgrave and his group, you're in serious danger. His group? A satanic cult called the Brotherhood of the Manasseh. Named for the most depraved despot to rule the biblical kingdom of Judah. 
His sins were so heinous that Jehovah was moved to totally annihilate Israel for over four centuries. They aren't good people. What, what do they practice? The transference of souls. They believe that death marks the passage of our souls, our personality, and essence from one level of existence to another. Well, that's pretty standard, isn't it? I mean, Shirley MacLaine's made a lot of money telling people that. Yes, but the Manassans weren't interested in making that particular passage. They preferred to stay in this world indefinitely, accumulating wisdom, wealth, and power. Immortality? Not physically. I have a tape of an extraordinary demonstration put on by the 20th century Oz. How'd that get here? Ah, here it is. Did you tape this yourself? It isn't very good. Give me a break. It's a hidden camera. These people don't exactly seek publicity, you know. In fact, if they ever found out about this tape... Oh, look here. Cosgrave's doing a transference of souls, what they call a passage. That man owned the dog. Cosgrave will transport his soul into the animal's carcass. The man died? Does he look dead to you? Look, Cosgrave's doing a soul link. The man and Cosgrave are linked until they break off physical contact. Maybe it's just some kind of trick. Like your camera's a trick. Look, Cosgrave believed that he could send his soul into a person, an object, anything he had an intimate relationship with. you take a picture of someone, you introduce him to a potential victim. Why? Why is he killing these people? The same reason he killed them ten years ago. A passage requires a great deal of psychic energy. Cosgrave believed that he could rob someone of his life force by killing him. But why was he so brutal? Why did he torture his victims? Because fear and pain increased the psychic energy in the victim. But Cosgrave's dead. I believe he lives. And that he'll continue to spread fear and pain until he's ready to make his passage into a human host. And I'm afraid he's probably chosen you, Amy. Me? Why me? You own the camera. You're a photographer. The victims are known to you. You're his most intimate contact in the world right now. Can you help us? do my best. There are ways to stop Cosgrave, but I'll need to do some research. In the meantime, be strong. Resist his lures. If Cosgrave is preparing a passage, he'll feed off any negative energy he can find or create. Don't help him. And above all, keep the camera locked away. Oh, great. Gaines has the camera.
It is Saturday, though. Maybe she's out. Maybe we should go out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave her a note. You have a pen? Oh, yeah. I wish she was here. by this camera. It's not gonna kill anybody. <laughs> I didn't really think it was going to, but I had to prove that to a whacked out employee of mine. Oh, um, I x-rayed some film. That's impossible. I made sure the camera was empty. Whatever you say. Here's the report. I've gotta run. Oh, uh, thank Professor Kelly for me. I appreciate the work she did for me. Yeah, right. to the phone. What, doesn't Rick dance? Hey, pretty lady. I'd like to dance the next one. Well, um, I already have a boyfriend. Come on, I saw you dancing. Oh, look, she doesn't want to dance. Oh, 
God, I hope Gaines gets that note. Oh, she'll get it. Ladies, can I get you something to drink? Yeah, um, I want something fruity, something with a fancy umbrella in it. <laughs> we'll have two beers. Great. So, do you think we can forget about all this? Give yeah. the old college try. Yuck, I thought we liked beer. It was only when we were in journalism classes. Oh, that's right. And I thought all good writers drank beer, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I thought that I'd work on a newspaper for a little while and then I'd own my own gallery. Well, there's still time for that. Hello there. Let me guess, you're a detective, right? No, but I wouldn't mind copying a deal. Oh, God, do you want something? I just want to be friendly. I just want to get to know you ladies a little better. No, you don't. You want sex. Why don't you just admit it? You want to screw us till your eyeballs are wet. I mean, why don't you just assume that two women alone need some kind of gratification from some greasy, slimy maggot like you? Hey, I guess you two dykes aren't into men. <laughs> hey, 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 if you're not careful, I'm going to take your picture. Dear Heavenly Father, I hardly, I hardly. My dear Heavenly Father, I heartily hate my sins and I... That won't do you any good, Dana. And the pain they have caused you. You gave up believing 20 years ago. You can't frighten me, Pastor. You feed on fear. You need it. You're not going to get it this time. My death won't help you make your passage into that woman. Can't feel fear? You shall experience pain beyond what you've ever imagined possible. You can be stopped. Chan can stop you. Chan? He's already contacted Miss Stewart. You've been a busy little padre. Time for a rest. Eternal. stood up, Rick. I hate to admit it, but he's okay. But why do you like him? You do like him, don't you? Well, I like him because he programs computers, and I have this thing for the full fan language, you know? <laughs> yeah. Father Dana was here. What? Says Chan knows. Call me, Dana. How do you get me a part? I don't know. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Father Dana, please? This is Detective Quaid. Father Dana is dead. Who is this? He's dead. Oh, Father Dana. I brought him into this. It's not your fault.
are you guys? Hey, is there anything I can do to help? Well, it might be all over. I mean, Amy took the camera and smashed it. You should have seen her. Isn't that the camera? Oh, Did he get us? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, let's get some protection, quick. We'll be right outside the dark room. You learned, now you know. I know that it hurts the people I love. But it spreads hate and fear and pain and death wherever it goes. But I don't know enough. I don't know how to destroy it. I think you have that information, Mr. Chan. And I think you'll share it with me. Why do you think that, Miss Stewart? Your sense of responsibility. Your moral and ethical upbringing. And the fact that if you don't, I'm going to take your picture for posterity. My left side is my best. You're not afraid to die. You think I'm joking. I know you're serious. So am I. I signed my death warrant when I left the Brotherhood of the Manassa. You were a member of Cosgrave's cult? Yes. And I can never atone for what I did. Now, I hope to balance the scales just a bit. Can you destroy the camera? Not while it houses his soul. Once he leaves, it's... Just a camera. He wants me. Can you stop him? Surely Father Dana has told us that once Cosgrave touches your soul, he won't let it go. Miss Stewart, if I am to help you, you must trust me. Listen to me. Are you willing to do this? I don't see what choice I have, do I?
felt it, Miss Stewart. You enjoyed what he could do for you. What? Kill my friends? Murder the people I love? He satisfied your petty jealousies. Fulfilled your spite, he acted on your contempt? Yes. Every time that somebody died, you felt that tingle of satisfaction that we all feel when we learn of the misfortune of others. <laughs> no. Yes, and that sent a signal to Cosgrave. It helped him to tighten his grip on your soul. No! I love those people! And beneath that love, you nurse smoldering resentments against all of them. I saw your room. No. She was very beautiful. <laughs> and I read her work. She was very talented. Now, those people that she interviewed, they opened their hearts to her. Uh, she had it all. She had everything, <laughs> everything that you desired. Your special fantasies <laughs> were all handed to her on a golden platter. <laughs> It must have been very difficult for you, Miss Stewart, to share your life with somebody who was your idolized self. Yes. <laughs> and these feelings are deep within your soul, and Cosgrave has reached them. I killed them. I killed all of them. I'm responsible. No, 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 Jennifer. No, no. You're, not, you're not responsible. Cosgrave killed him. He killed all of them. And he wants to kill you too. And worse, he wants to control your soul. I realize these things are painful, Miss Stewart. But you must know how Cosgrave works. How he fattens himself on the foulest aspects of human nature. You must know these things if you are to fight and resist him. I come. It's time. on the camera? That is the bitterest iron. The police officer, the shop owner, they use the camera. They use Cosgrave as a weapon. When they were frightened of its power, they simply got rid of it. But when you discovered what the camera was, you didn't follow their lead. Your reluctance to allow this camera to fall into more unscrupulous hands gave Cosgrave all the time he needed to plunge his talents deep into your soul. So how's this going to work? Cosgrave can only pass into his predetermined target. And only by the removal of this target can he be stopped. Now, if you were to die during the passage, then Cosgrave would be lost. With nowhere to go, his energy depleted, he will make that final crossing into death. What do, what do you mean, if I were to die? Shh, he's here. Free your thoughts of Cosgrave. I can't. You must try. Amy. Jennifer! Concentrate, Miss Stewart. Help me. Jennifer! Don't leave this room. Help me.
Let's try it again. Concentrate. I'm not strong enough to resist him! You will have my strengths. And you'll have my weaknesses. And I will have your strengths. strength. Cosgrave. Gone. A lost soul for eternity. And you? 